Hi, I'm Andy and this is question 3 on the AQA Core 4 paper from June 2014. For more questions on this exam paper, click the I in the top right corner. In question 3a, we need to find the binomial expansion of 1 minus 4x all to the power of a quarter, up to and including the term in x squared. So comparing our formula with what we have in our expression, we can see that n has to be a quarter. And we can see that the x in our formula has been replaced by minus 4x. So all we need to do is make these substitutions into the formula. This gives us 1 plus n is a quarter multiplied by x which becomes minus 4x. And then for the third term we have a quarter for n. n minus 1 becomes negative 3 quarters. And that will be multiplied by minus 4x all squared. Make sure you put this minus 4x in a bracket here. It's the whole thing squared, not just the x. And the whole thing is divided by 2. Simplifying what we have here, we get a 1. And then a quarter times negative 4 gives me negative 1. So we get negative x. For the x squared term, we'll first look at this bracket here. If we square that, we'd get 16 multiplied by x squared. And then if we multiply out this bracket here, we'd get a quarter times negative 3 quarters is negative 3 over 16. So the 16 here cancels out with the over 16 here, and we end up with negative 3x squared all divided by 2, so which we can write as minus 3 over 2x squared. In part B, it says find the binomial expansion of 2 plus 3x all to the power negative 3, again up to x squared. Before we can use the formula for this one, we need to write it in the form 1 plus x to the power of n. To do that, we need to bring a factor of 2 out of the front of this bracket. But we can't just bring it outside the bracket. We have to put it to the power of negative 3. So factorising out the 2 gives 2 bracket 1 plus 3 over 2x. And the whole thing here is to the minus 3. So we can then write this as 2 to the negative 3 multiplied by our bracket to the negative 3. And 2 to the negative 3 is an eighth. So we want an eighth of 1 plus 3 over 2x to the power of negative 3. So let's expand out this separately and then multiply by an eighth at the end. So in this expansion, the n is negative 3 and x has been replaced by 3 over 2x. So we get 1 plus nx, which will be negative 3 times 3 over 2x plus n times n minus 1, that'll be negative 3 times negative 4, and then times by 3 over 2x squared, and that will all be divided by 2. Now we'll simplify, we get 1, and we've got negative 3 times 3 over 2, that's going to give us minus 9 over 2x, and then here, the minus 3 times minus 4 gives positive 12. Divide that by the 2, that gives us 6. And then if we expand this out, we get 9 over 4. 6 lots of 9 over 4 is going to give me 54 over 4, or 27 over 2. And that's multiplied by x squared. Remember, this isn't our final answer, though. We've still got to multiply by an eighth. So we get 1 eighth. An eighth of 9 over 2, that's going to give us minus 9 over 16, multiplied by x. And 27 over 2, an eighth of that is 27 over 16, x squared. Finally, in part c, we need to find the binomial expansion of 1 minus 4x to the quarter over 2 plus 3x to the 3. Notice that if we brought the bottom of this fraction up onto the top and wrote it as a negative power, it will be the same as what we expanded in part b. So we're going to use the expansions that we did in a and b to find the answer to this. So before we can use our binomial expansions, we need to rewrite this. We'll leave the numerator the same, but we'll bring the denominator onto the top so we get 2 plus 3x to the negative 3. So all we have to do is multiply our previous binomial expansions together. So the first expansion was 1 minus x minus 3 over 2x squared. And the second expansion is here. We've got an eighth 
minus 9 over 16x plus 27 over 16x squared. So rather than expanding out the whole expression here, I'm just going to think of which terms will give me up to x squared. So we'll do the constants first. We've got 1 times an eighth. That just gives me an eighth. Then we consider the terms involving x. We've got 1 times minus 9 over 16x. That gives me minus 9 over 16x. We've got minus x times an eighth. That gives me minus an eighth x. And then for the x squared terms, I've got 3. I've got 1 times 27 over 16x squared. That just gives me 27 over 16x squared. I've got minus 3 over 2x squared times an eighth. That's going to give me minus 3 over 16x squared. And I've got minus x times minus 9 over 16x. That will give me positive 9 over 16x squared. All that's left to do now is simplify, so we get 1 8th, we've got negative 9 over 16, minus an 8th, that's like negative 2 over 16, so that gives me negative 11 over 16x. And for the x squared terms, we've got 27 over 16, minus 3 over 16, that's 24 over 16, plus the 9 over 16 gives me positive 33 over 16x squared.